From our experience of running courses and wet labs over the years, our impression is that most trainees, together with many fully qualified surgeons, have never really been taught how to properly perform an anterior vitrectomy. It probably has something to do with a combination of wanting to focus only on the positive outcomes of surgery, perhaps a degree of embarrassment that it's happened, and the upset and discomfort of admitting to surgical failure. Regardless of all this, we need to accept that anterior vitrectomy is an important procedure that we need to master and perform to a consistently high standard every time. If we can do this, then the outcome can be just as good as if it had never happened. But if we can't, then the consequences, as we're all too aware, can be potentially devastating. So this movie is all about what we consider to be best practice techniques, the ones which we'd encourage you to use every time when performing anterior vitrectomy. Before going into these techniques in detail, let's take a moment here to consider exactly what we're trying to achieve when we're performing an anterior vitrectomy.